hello everyone so today I'm going to cover this missing part that uh, I got couple of complaints in my 16th video that I have missed explaining the mleaves master material this is a snapshot of that material so I'm going to recreate that again for you and yeah let's get started so here I have two trees uh, actually you know trees like bushes so I'll go to my materials folder and I already have M leaves master so I'll create new folder here and go there so that I can create one with the same name all right M leaves master right and I'm going to use an instance of this material with this tree for this one so you can see as I progress with the tree, uh, with the material I'm gonna apply it to both trees all right now this is where we begin as you can see there are no transparency there are no texture just the basic default uh, grid material you can see here all right so now I'll add a texture I'll add the texture for this tree These are the textures we have here. We have Ficus Branch and Ficus, Ficus Branch Normal Map and Ficus Branch Spec. Specular Map. So I'm gonna drag and drop those three like this. All right, and I'm gonna convert all these three to parameters like this. First one, I'll name base color. Wait, base color, and the second one, um, specular. And the third one, normal. Right now, I'm going to connect base color to this base color and specular to specular and normal map to the normal, like this. And also, I'm going to connect the alpha channel of this base color to the opacity masks at the moment it is deactivated that's because the blending mode here is opaque so I'm gonna have to change it to masked like this now you can see this opacity mask is activated and in this texture if I open it you can see there are there is transparency so I'll connect this alpha channel which contains the transparency information to opacity mask and apply right now you can see in the world this texture has been applied to the tree like this okay now when I look at these leaves from the opposite side where the Sun is as you can see there is no see-through and uh, not uh, the light from the Sun is not going through these leaves at all but in these trees you can see some amount of light is going through those leaves so to enable that effect we can do this 
we can change the shared in model shared in model to sub surface and then you can see the sub surface color node is activated so i will create another vector parameter i will name it sub surface color and change the default color to green like this and I'll multiply this color with the base texture color so that that's not really necessary I think that would give better results and also we have another problem when I look at from this side you can see many leaves but when I look at from the downside the I can't see much leaves at all that's because for example just look at this one when I look at it from this side you don't see anything that's because this polygonal model this polygon don't have a face from that side so I can get rid of that problem by enabling this two-sided option and apply right now you can see that leaves those leaves from both sides okay so the next step is I'll promote this metallic variable to a parameter and also roughness to a parameter yeah and for the metallic I'll give something like 0.1 and for the roughness I'll give also 0.1 okay so the next thing is we need some wind on these leaves so for that we have this simple crosswind and I'll promote this wind intensity to a parameter like this and also wind weight to a parameter and then I'll connect to the world position offset and here I need additional WPO I'll promote that to a parameter as well and I'll set the default value of the wind intensity and the weight like this and apply right now you can see these leaves are react into the wind okay yeah so that's our MLU's master material and I will show one more thing so here I have created an instance so and I have promoted this base color normal and specular to parameters so therefore if I create another instance of this I can just change the texture normal map and specular map and also if you want you can change these parameters as well and create materials for another type of uh, bush or another type of tree leaves so I'm going to use this material as the base material for all the tree leaves textures all the tree leaf materials that I am going to use in this world so that by modifying this M leaves master material that modifications will be applied to all the tree leaves materials in the world and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye